Can the girl just get a good bun? Hey guys, so I thought I was a little overdue for a shoe unboxing. I get shoes sometimes and I never make a video of it, but this is a special pair. I got my second pair of Jeffrey Campbell's last week and found them in the most unexpected place. I'll just get right to it. Um, this is where I found them. Like, what? I can't believe I found a pair of Jeffrey Campbell's at Ross. Um, the first pair I have is a pair of Lita's, and I actually found those at, like, a cheap store, too. They are from Plato's Closet. They were, like, 36 bucks or something, even cheaper than that. Um, so I guess I just have good luck finding Jeffreys at cheap places. So these ones were $40. They're normally, like, $120. Um, yeah, they're a little bit wild. They are not, like, I don't know, like, a Lita, I feel like, goes with a lot of things. These are a little bit crazier but like for me I feel like Jeffrey Campbell's just a classic thing right now that I'll save forever like I won't get rid of them even if I don't wear them because they're kind of just like a classic so when I see a pair if it's marked down like I'm probably gonna get it no matter how wild it is and I actually do really like these they're I think like they're very me and um, I've already styled them once and I have a lot of ideas of how to wear them otherwise they can go pretty casual or dressy and when you wear them with the dress of your outfit it makes it a little more playful obviously but these are just kind of crazy. So I will show you them. And they are these. I honestly don't even know what you would call this. It is it is not flat form because there's a little bit of a rise, but it's like a it's basically a saddle shoe inspired flat form with like a woven raffia bottom, which does make them very summery, which is kind of cool. And yeah, so here is the pair of them. They like this, and they have this side zipper. Um, yeah, they I got them in a size 9, too. Normally I'm a size 8, but I'm like a wide 8, so usually 8 hurt my feet. So these were kind of good as far as width goes, that they're a little bit more comfortable. I still have to break them in. The first time I wore them, I couldn't wear them the whole day. I just had to wear them like um, for a few hours because they were a little bit snug on one of my feet, and then I got a little bit of like, um, like a rubbing on my ankle from them. But... Still, yeah, these are them. I'm really excited about them. The first outfit was on my blog. It was pretty minimal, like um, just black jeans and like a denim acid wash shirt. But I felt like it really let the shoes like stand out. So that was cool. And um, so yeah, they're pretty saddle shoe inspired. You can see there's like this black and all the um, trimming around the sides is like this punctured like tooled leather. And then the front here has this kind of menswear inspired fringe piece. And then this little tassel, which I really like, fringy tassels. And yeah, they come up pretty high on the ankle. Um, so overall, I'm excited about these. I figured, like I said, I'll probably keep them because they're a classic. But I figured if I ever really, really got sick of them, I would be able to sell them for like about the same price or a little bit more than what I paid because they are Jeffrey Campbell. Um, yeah, I was just shocked to find them at Ross. They also had another pair of Jeffrey Campbell's there that were a size 10 or 10 and a half, so I couldn't get them. But those were cool too. They were kind of like a summery creeper. Like they had a cutout and then they had this like swirly pattern and a similar bottom to this, but it was black. So those were cool too, but overall these are more me. And yeah, I'm excited to uh, keep selling them in the summer and from then on out. And I really like these because it's like a platform, like the height for school, but they're a lot more wearable than like Alita to school. like. I can't wear Lita's to school. My school's just hilly and like, like I'm all for standing out, but I would just like stand out so much. It would be a lot and I'm already pretty tall, so I wouldn't need it. But this is like the perfect amount of height for a school day. Yeah, so now that I've talked about them, um, let's have me show you what they look like on. Okay, so that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and checking out my uh, new shoes. Um, you can keep up with me on my blog, punkrockpartee.com. That's where I have all my outfit posts and I update that almost daily, a lot more than YouTube. But 
I do try to be pretty regular with YouTube still. And yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask me about these below. Um, I'm not really sure if you can find them anywhere now. Um, I tried to do a quick Google search just with like the keywords of what how I could describe this, but I couldn't find them anywhere. But yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask me. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. And yeah, um, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you guys later.